Hi, welcome. We are making our monthly tutorial. This is the system I'm currently on. It's an ISO builder, so it keeps more or less uh, stable in the sense that I just update, I just roll, I just update, and I do uh, every change is done on here and the build is done here. And we have created a article for the November release. So there is already an article there but the video is not uh, yet updated so this is what we're going over on this what did change in November and how do you keep uh, stay rolling or do you keep uh, updating everything or you go for a clean installation and download the ISO from SourceForge this Saturday so we aim for Saturday 17 November we're going to keep this little thing here so you know at what point in time you can uh, well block your agenda where you can say that's the time i'll install Arch Linux. but like i said there's no need for it you can stay rolling as as rule of thumb i start with Arch Linux 18.10.4 so previous month and then install it everything is already installed and then we are going to update things right so in the meantime we can go over all the things that have changed and demonstrate and teach again what changed and how everything is changed and this little thing up here don't want to see this so don't show this message again so what are we working on the edition of october right 18 2018 october first uh, fourth uh, ISO or fourth version of the October release. That's that. And then we've made a article. Let's go maybe to the article in question. And this is a normal pop-up. I don't want to put in my passwords when I go to internet. I just say continue, continue, and that's it. So we are on Article Linux Info. We have always uh, lots of choices here but this article is of course at the home page so we can go to the home page as well and go scroll down and you hear, here you see the recent posts you can find it here as well the releases and you'll find it there we we'll probably still need to make an image for it because this is the image of 1810 so reminder Eric make an image here so that's it that's the article and we can go over that in detail so like i said um updating in updating Control f update so we can go over to the words update and just checking it out and underneath underneath here you see how to stay rolling it's uh, one of the most asked questions of course and understand so here it is, a complete article, how to update any Arch Linux, D, B, doesn't matter, even Arch Linux, if you have, of course, to correct aliases, because we created alias to have, well, ease of work, I mean, um, to make it fast, efficient, that's why we make aliases. So these are the topics at hand, so I'm, I'm redirecting you to this article, read it, it's interesting. What I'll do always is this, because I know what changes on my system. This is for you, if you want to know what changed on my system, then these are all the steps and it's explained in the video. But what I'll do is just update my system. Everything that's in my ETC scale, I'll copy paste it with this alias and then update everything from the AOR. So we have the difference as an educational aspect this is Arch and Arco, and the rest is then AOR. That's what I do. But it's up to you to decide what you do. So basically, we are on an October version. Today we are the 15th November, means it's about a month of releases. So let's have a look what Arch Linux and Arco Linux bring to the table. 3.3 gigabytes of installed size it's not download download size is 763 
But anyway, a net upgrade of size of 225 is not that small. So all you do is say yes and download. And if for some reason your um, servers are down or slow or anything, remember we have this super easy thing to remember, mirror. And mirror is always an, also an alias and it shows you that we are using an application called a reflector with something very long behind it and that's why you have aliases you can't expect people to remember this right but mirror or mirrors with an s will work and will launch that particular application when we scroll up let him do the download what can we see say in the meantime there was actually quite a bunch of xfc stuff coming in uh, just I think a week ago as of something like that so all kind of XFCE update so that's good people are still developing XFCE good information or glad to see that there are lots of Arco Linux stuff till here I guess this is all Arco Linux from here till here so we'll definitely need to look into the fact if we need scale or not that's also quite important for you guys. Arch Linux Keyring, a very important package. It uh, provides all the keyrings or special kind of codes that are um, where your Pacman trusts a package containing a kind of key. So often we get these problems with applications, not the correct key, etc. Remember Arch Linux Keyring. That's it. Update the thing. So, pseudo pacman minus s. But everything seems to just go ahead. So, here are the keys in the key ring. Everything checked. So, this is fast already. No problems with the keys. But sometimes it happens with packages. Alright, so he's updating everything. Um, let's. Um, here are some keys. So, he's disabling keys. People um, that have no longer. But I have revoked a key, so that's the key is not valid anymore. But it doesn't matter if you're in problem or anything, it's just a, a key that went out of um, use, right? And here are some things for Arch Linux that are quite important. Remember, etc scale, it's a V folder. Anything that we put in there is going to be put on the ISO. So interesting to know for when you want to build your own ISO, that's the place to put stuff, right? So we're not going to put stuff in your home directory. We are going to change them in etc scale. But nothing happens then on your home. So if you want the latest updates for this package, then you need to, to actually copy paste the content inside that folder and inside that folder and inside that folder and inside that folder. So a lot of things have been put um, well, have been updated, have been renewed, new conkeys, etc. So we definitely need to look at the etc scale. So a lot of things changed. And we'll go over the changes. So arrow up. First thing I do is update. Second thing I do is scale. Scale is the command. Scale is the command to copy everything inside etc scale to your home directory so that sounds good okay all that kind of red flashes there That's this thing here so i'm going to use scale so scale is quite fast take a look at it it's copied right done last thing i'll do is pksyua since we've done update it will just update aur let's explain that well, let's let's just install it and scroll up so what's this thing AOR is an arch user repository it has not really anything to do with arco linux nor arch linux they even have a sentence on the website we are not responsible for anything on the aor we don't support it it's something else it's definitely the arch user repository so people are making a package build 
for this one, which we have, by the way, i3 is on your open box, on your Arco Linux XFC open box i3, uh, the big ISO as we call it. Boombox is for open box, PAMAC is your uh, updater, your package uh, manager, Tryson, your AOR installer and Vivaldi browser with so, some movie, um, well, potential, the codex for FM, FFMPG. The cursor is cursor and also again yay is a AOR builder. So these guys have not nothing to do with us, but we use it of course. Why not? Why wouldn't we use it? AOR is, is filled with beautiful packages uh, like Spotify, Dropbox, I don't know, well Dropbox probably too, but it's also on the Arch, I think. But a lot of things, and that's the fun with this AOR, that there isn't a package that's not available on Arch Linux and a lot of them are on AOR. So let's just do the computer, let's do its work. So we are here at Vivaldi, which means he needs to go over to the white, no, to the FFMPG, I think was the next one. So this one is going to be the next one. So it's here now in the installation part. So that's what you do. You update everything. Now, I do think yeah, this is still version 4.18.12 and our actual machine is on 4.19.1 meaning if you see that the kernel is installed, Linux is the package then we need to reboot. That's just a precaution, that's, that's a way of working I think that's the best way of working if you see something called Linux or Linux LTS or something similar, the kernel, right? Then you reboot and check out if you still can reboot. So let's uh, maybe wait for the tutorial and then we'll go in all the new stuff that we've done for the tutorial, let's say for the uh, update here. Let's wait for the update and then go inside or over the article that's in here, that's not in here, that's in here and see what's new. All right, everything is installed. So again, reboot. And let's see if we have this new Linux kernel on our virtual box. Looks promising. And there we are. Control T, we have the latest kernel working. So that's fine. Back to the website. Arch Linux, hello. If you're new to these, um, this this distro, this uh, Arch Linux story, then we you ask you to really read this uh, website or this this page for sure. But a lot of information is in here, and let's go now to the what did we change? Now, before I maybe go into that, people always ask Eric what what changed and not everything. So you can always follow what changes here. There is an article Linux beta page, D and B. So there are three kind of ISOs and everything is explained on the website. So if you're really interested in article Linux B, you can see what we did on this version and what we did, what we changed, you can follow everything. And this information is also, of course, uh, there for ourselves, but also for our beta testers, so people who are going to test the ISO and see if everything works and all that, are going to ask Eric, what did you change? So that's the information for them, was one. Two, Discord is our way to communicate with each other, that's two. And uh, three, we have our GitHubs, right? So if you just Google GitHub article links, you'll get hits like a lot, because we have a lot of uh, GitHubs. So that's good. And there we can also, you can also look at the commits and what we changed, everything is there as well. So let's have a look at our release. This one. So what did we do? We created two Arch Linux B minimals. One, two, three, four points. And the first point is here. So we've created Mate minimal, right? That's the look. 
it means it's still Mate, it's still Arc Linux, it's still Arc Linux B, because you can build it yourself. But in this case, we have less software. We just have one browser, etc., etc. No GIMP, no Inkscape, etc. Right? But the stuff that matters in the sense that we have all these icons here, these Grub Customizer will be installed because of the availability in the control center. So, right. So, a minimal version. We have now seven minimal versions in total. You can download them. They're on SourceForge, but the idea is to build them. The B stands for build. And this one is then awesome. Right? Awesome. Minimal. I see I still have to make it zoom out so you can investigate more. So, in the end, we have uh, all these guys already. And we'll stay uh, well on a monthly course to add some more. Some images for you to go over. You can download the ISOs here, more info here, just about Arc Linux B. We finally started, and uh, very enthusiastic I might add, with sharing the knowledge about Plasma. So Plasma is a desktop that's worth your interest, and that's why we have also made it official. We would like you to try it out. It has, it seems to have a uh, black or white kind of decision for people. You either love it or you hate it. So I'm trying to convince people, if you hate it, please do give it a try because Plasma is changed. It's not the KDE anymore, as maybe you've seen. I have my first time with KDE was like in SUSE, I don't know what version, 20 years ago. So no, you can't compare anything with, with well, even maybe a one or two years ago. So Plasma is changed. Give it a try. There are already 29 articles written. So take a look, right? See some videos and you say, well, oh, looks nice. Why not just join us on our Plasma challenge and install it on VirtualBox, on a machine, on real uh, metal and try to follow a series of tutorials and see what tutorial interests you and pick out, right? So some images here, so you can really make beautiful desktops also with Plasma. Now, some people have gone over to the phase five, as we call it, Arch Linux. So they do a clean installation of Arch and then decide, okay, in this case, let's install GNOME. And um, this is an example of GNOME. It is the logo as you can see of Arch, and it has the skull from Arch, meaning so you can still have all the fun stuff and all the scripts and all the packages from Arch Linux, and that's what we call the spices. So build your Arch, phase five, from scratch, learn scripts, then get Arch Linux stuff inside, spices, spice it up, nice, beautiful, um, icons, whatever, gets anything from our Arco Linux repos and make a system that you like. It's freedom. Linux is freedom. Remember, you choose what you like, you choose the operating system, the packages and so on. That's why we make Arco Linux, Arco Linux D, base installation, Arco Linux B, build your own ISO. Whatever you want, put it on there. By the way, maybe I should say that as well. You see here that we've put some games on it. So the ISO that we've uh, used to teach the Plasma Challenge here has 4.3 because we're not just going to teach, we're going to have fun with games, right? So that's okay. That's good. And then some general improvements. All kind of packages have been uh, improved in general. So this package here, we've deleted the logos and the scripts because the scripts are in the dot bin. And this one is a separate package for the logos. Calamaris again has this UIP. I'll show you later. In uh, There's a picture down there. Arclinix application, we've uh, reported and that's the way to do it, guys. 
report errors on the GitHub of people and we reported to Compton, hey, we have an error in Menu Libre, in XFCE. He has contacted the guys of Arch and Arch fixed the uh, script there. So we don't see this error in Menu Libre, in XFCE that is. It's down here. All right, edit applications. That's Menu Libre. There was an error and that's now gone. Thanks to just help people out report issues on their GitHub. That's simple. Third party, so general general update stuff, so applications that are not from us, so you do know that these are not Arch Linux packages, nor Arch Linux packages, they come from AWAR. They've been updated. We have added some uh, Rofi themes, so uh, two themes you can decide to have. This is for Openbox, for instance, you can have uh, that there, it's also i3. It's kind of menu can activate with the shortcuts and it has a new look a new theme two new themes right by the way it's created by one of our article linux core members interceptor article linux logo is a special kind of new application or a new package and we've moved all the logos to one place uh, simple as that it's hidden away so you don't see it it's a dot article linux logo so it's out of the open box Folder where it has no place really and it's there so if you want to add change logos colored logos uh, there are svgs as well so you can do a lot of stuff with an svg in inkscape it's up to you a film that's something nice in the sense that it's something special it's not activated but you decide if you want it HBlock is coming from Hectorum here from GitHub and it's a little script that we've made uh, available on our repo and what it does you can read about all about it here but it shows here already some of the information in the etc hosts is going to block a lot of stupid uh, invasive uh, websites that you rather not have it can be blocking ads, it can be tracking websites, it can be malware domains, it can be anything really. And it's a long, long, long list. I think it was 108,000 or something. I don't know. It's a long list of domains that are blocked. It means that your experience on the net will differ, will be nicer. That's the intent of Hector from GitHub. All we've done is made a package, right? So you just have to uh, install this H block thing, but everything is here explained. And then everything is, uh, well, then your experience will be better. That's the idea. But then we have the Arc Linux Tin 2 themes. We've seen that with all the updates that have uh, been, been going on in the past, Tin 2, GTK 3, a lot of things have changed. We noticed that the icons were looking a bit bad. These icons up here were a bit overlapping or a bit blurry or anything not nice right right so we've taken a look at the code and we just found it just needs one one change and everything was okay so that's okay again the tin to themes the arco sorry the arc themes are looking awesome again article like spices and arch linux yes we've done that as well so if you have let's just show it because i don't see i've forgotten a link so if you go to github right github.com the linux d and that's it that's enough and then you decide what desktop do i want i want to have article open box fine but this time i'm on arch linux then you go to the arch way and these guys are new and they're always the same. These 10, 20, 30 are exactly the same everywhere on any of these Git GitHubs, whatever you decide to install. That's how we get the spices in. So Arch Linux spices and Arch Linux, phase five, you install Arch Linux and then you build your way so that you have a complete desktop. I've made also some more explanations about Yay and Trizen, since Yahoo 
which has been there for years as an installation for as an AUR helper on all the tutorials you can find it's out so here's the alternative we show you how to install EA and with EA I install Trizen that's explained in this article there are new two new aliases you will love so there is a new thing that's called backup scale so alias type it since we've done um, aha very good that this happens right so there is no backup scale there's one thing we've forgotten should check that uh, should say that in the article as well one thing we forgot what we always have to do well not always when there are new aliases when there are new aliases then you should compare these two guys bash rc bash rc latest this is what came in from the etc scale and this is what you have so we're not overwriting your version of bash rc it's up to you to say do i want the new stuff in and this is the new stuff we have a new alias backup scale oh that's a mistake mistake i think no it's okay still control z yeah so backup scale is new it's now to the left meaning it's now in my bash rc there is also skip integrity check that we've made completely forgot about that so that was as done as well this year not this month sorry and microcode that's included in the text here so that's it and everything is for the rest the same it's green the only thing is editor nano which is okay is defining that your editor is called nano so we save and that's it now now we can truly say we have our latest um, aliases so these guys here and i'll add the other two as well so backup scale oh i see typo here backup scale is the name but if you ask the alias again you've not really you've not restarted oh it's still there okay fine it's already there nice uh, but it will not work will it yeah it will work what are you saying eric it will work so backup scale is there it will work and what has it done it has made a copy of your etc scale give the name with a date and then you can see this was what we had at that point in time then you do an update or in a month time you do an update and then you do, do again a backup scale and then you have two folders and what you can do with two folders is say these two folders right mouse click then you say compare and then you can see what has changed in one month's time in two months time etc so that's also i think a super good alias to figure out what changed what is the difference between my older scale etc scale and the newer version so you immediately see what have we changed physically visually with right mouse click and melt so this is called melt if you compare that's the application so i have to re-edit this thing here work in progress and the microcode is something new which gives us all the vulnerabilities we have on our system with all the mitigation you have had your share of articles to read about all these spectre and meltdown things but we have now a microcode that you don't need to remember this awful code where is it this is a microcode grab sys devices system cpu vulnerabilities right no need to remember it anymore we have a alias we've uh, made a new conkeys and we've made also a tutorial for you guys to see how do i get a conky in Arch linux d b doesn't matter arch linux doesn't matter it's still arch right it's the same um well distro or 
spaces where you put the conkian. So everything you explained in this tutorial how to get a conkian. So guys, if conkeys are your thing and you want to help us, well, you can always import conkeys you like and tell to us, hey, here it is, here's the file. Could you please add it to your conkeys? And we'll gladly do so if everything, if the code's okay, the conkey is nice. Yes, go. We'll put it up. We've done also something in the dot bin. You know, dot bin is where we keep some fun stuff, but also some serious stuff. But every month we'll add fun. This is our fun this month. This is the Arco logo. And this is the Arch logo that we've created. And that's your, well, kind of fun stuff in your terminal. So those two guys are new. We've changed the zero script to use all the cores. Standard Arch Linux does not use all the cores. But we have a user who has bought a CPU of 16 cores. So if uh, we're able to try that out and this script now can also figure out, hey, there are 16 cores. Yes, yes let's use them all. That's what I want to say. And on some new things as well. You know we have to have this microcode error that we have to fix. Well, there's a code. There is just a script there available for you to run the script for AMD people. So AMD is your CPU and Intel is your CPU. Run this one if you have an Intel. Run that one if you have an AMD. And be done with it. Forget about it. All right. Future efforts will just continue our work with the minimal desktops on a monthly basis. I think I'm going to do GNOME first. I don't know. We'll see. But at some point in time, we'll have done all the Arcalix B minimals. We have started with the Plasma tutorials. They're just awesome. I don't mean the tutorials, but the Plasma itself is beautiful. You have, have cube effects, wobbly windows. It has many more things and it will it, it will really um, well give it a try that's all i say give it a try there's some more information about this plasma challenge here and all the 29 articles are there if that's done which will take probably till 2019 about plasma there's a lot to be said and then we'll do deeping tutorials at some point in time Qtile is being worked on as we speak, but as I say, one at a time, right? So first plasma and get it out. And then uh, this video that we're making is coming here. Summary of all the changes and how to keep rolling is what we said here. And this is our image. So I said earlier on, Geo IP service is working again. And we'll see if it will stay. Uh, working but it's just this thing here that decides hey you're in New York or you're in Brussels or in Berlin or anywhere it knows then where you are and if it's not working you have to do it manually simple as that but it's nice of course if it knows it but I've heard already for people that well you have to sometimes change it manually anyway how to stay rolling I've shown you that as well but here's again the article and Thus, this can go, I guess, because how to stay rolling is included in this video. Yeah. And everything more, if you want to have more information, full package list, I told you, go and have a look at the GitHub. Any information is there, plus the beta links in the menu block, which is over here. Here you see some more detailed information. I try to keep it very general over here, so you, with a glance, know more or less change and not go too technical so the big elements the big things all right i think that's um also almost it but i see something red here so that's arch for you <laughs> you've just updated and then it says hey there's an update right so vim right fine okay vim is updated it's an editor you could uh, try to learn and master so that's that. I'm thinking if I forgot anything. Not sure. I do have some work to edit again. 
but next time you'll see it it will be all fine all right cheers and have fun with Linux.